Hey yo, hey yo, what is up? So it looks like Beyonce is getting exposed again by her own father. This man needs to have a leash on him. He talks too much. Like what the hell? Matthew Knowles, Beyonce's father, exposes Beyonce for allegedly, well, it looks like to me, you know, you use Paola to get Grammy Awards. And I don't think he realizes what he's done. So basically what had happened was on the Grammy stage, Jay-Z went on to accept some award or something and he started bitching about how his wife had never won album of the year. Talk about entitlement. Like she has 32 Grammys and he's there bitching about how she has never one album of the year okay yes of course beyonce should have by now gotten an album of the year but like it just feels so self unaware like it coming from jay-z one of the most successful artist business moguls in the music industry it's so tone deaf it's so tone deaf but anyway he goes on to the stage he makes a statement about how beyonce has never won album of the year and you know it becomes a thing on the internet people are clowning him they're making fun of him because it is kind of a joke statement to make cut to matthew knows Beyonce's father making the statement with TMZ where he basically exposes the music industry and how the Grammy actually works. So Matthew Knowles in a recent interview with TMZ reveals that Columbia Records is always to blame for Beyonce never taking the album of the year award. What are you saying Matthew? Are you saying the album of the year awards are bought? Mm -hmm. Matthew? Are you saying... <laughs> Are you saying that Columbia didn't want to spend money on um, Beyonce and, you know, getting the people to vote for her for album of the year? I do think I've always had a sneaky suspicion that the album that could have gotten Beyonce the most chances of getting the album of the year award is I Am Sasha Fears because it is her most accessible album in terms of, you know, being appealing to white people. I have a sneaky suspicion that that's what he's talking about. But let, let's go on. In a conversation with TMZ, Matthew revealed that Colombia is not doing their part behind the scenes in terms of voting process and other things to support Beyonce. Record labels can only support one artist per category, which becomes a problem when artists from the same label are nominated for the same award, as was the case with Beyonce at least twice with Adele and, and Harry Styles who's from Colombia. And he mentions Harry Styles because Harry Styles won Album of the Year over Renaissance. Matthew, Matthew, you, you talk too much. Like, you're exposing everything that goes on in the music industry in regards to Beyonce. People already f have a strong sense that Beyonce pays for a lot of the Grammy awards that she gets or at least there's some like you know backdoor canoodling or something going on but like this is too much like didn't he what did, didn't Beyonce allegedly pay him not to talk about her again uh, what is going on anyway let's see what the people are saying about this because I, I think it's gonna be interesting this comment says well yes they pay all of their white artist and leave great like Beyonce behind for no reason or maybe there should be no payola huh maybe there should be no payola to get you know for such a prestigious award ceremony like the Grammys maybe you don't have to be convincing people to give you the award maybe your music should just speak for itself just an opinion this comment says wait question what label was Beck under when he won album of the year back in 2015 hmm interesting let me check Okay, so he was under Capitol, which is not even under the same music group as Columbia. So Columbia is under Sony Music and Capitol is under Universal Music. So yeah, that had, there was no, maybe there was Paola, but she definitely wasn't competing with a label mate. This comment says, sad, what I took from this is that labels don't feel like the accolade would do anything since she's already their moneymaker. Providing the accolade to the other promotes more revenue for those artists, but that's just my take. It's sad because it should truly be based on art. Yes, it should be based on art only. However, Harry Styles is also a moneymaker for Colombia. I would say that in the past like five years, Harry Styles has made probably more money for Beyonce for Colombia than Beyonce has. Or maybe no, because yeah, they're both signed to Colombia, but they also have their own record label. Beyonce has Parkwood and Harry Styles has Alex something, something. He He's under a different imprint. So yeah, I wonder who's making them more money. This comment says, I bet Beyonce didn't want y'all to make this a serious issue. Girl, still has nothing to prove period yeah she like beyonce she is increasingly becoming one of my least favorite artists in the music industry but she still has nothing to prove beyonce is beyonce not receiving an album of the year award isn't going to change her impact in the music industry in people's lives next
This comment says, it's politics and we all know Beyonce don't play them games. Are you sure about that? Because I've heard some things. I just think she's not winning at those particular games. But I, I do strongly believe that she plays those games. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this whole issue. Should Matthew keep his mouth shut? Because he really should. You can't be putting your daughter's business out there like that. Getting people to question her achievements. It's ridiculous. And also, I think he really loves a attention he really loves the attention anyway let me know what you think in the comment section down below thank you for sticking around and i'll see you in the next one bye